Hey guys, what's going on? We are here with a brand new Roblox video, and today, as you can tell by the title, we are doing Roblox Studio Basics. For this first Roblox Studio Basics video, we are going to be looking at the user interface. Now, this is what first comes up when you enter Roblox Studio. When you first enter Roblox Studio, you'll be on this new area where you can pick something to start a new project. What I usually do to start a project from scratch is base plate, but if you're really new to Roblox Studio, I recommend starting out with these and messing around with them a bit before you start building and scripting on your own. But first of all, I'm going to go through all these options and show you this part of the user interface. So, in the new section, there are three tabs. There are all templates, the theme templates, which are basically just builds, and the gameplay templates that have gameplay aspects and scripts to them. These are basically the new ones, and my games are games you have made. So there will be three tabs here. There will be a tab for the games you've made on your own, a tab for games you've made with groups, and a tab for games that are shared with you such with with something called team create we'll show you the guys that, that later and you have the recent ones the things you've been recently working on and archived i i honestly don't really know what archived ones are but i never use that tab but usually i like to start with a base i'm just going to use a, a base plate as an example to show you guys the user interface and so First of all, when you first open Studio in a new project, these are most likely going to be things that are open. Actually, I think they changed that now, so Game Explorer and Terrain Editor are also open. So this is what you'll have open. For now, though, I recommend closing the Terrain Editor and the Game Explorer, and just keeping the Toolbox, the Explorer, and the Property section. Now, if you don't have any of these, let's say you don't have any of these, you're going to want to go to this View tab up here. You're going to want to click Explorer, Properties, and Toolbox. That's what I like to do. You're going to click those. Also, this thing, you don't need this, but it, I, th I find it helpful sometimes to view axes. But that's just View Selector. So... For now, I'm going to show you guys what all these things are and what they do. So first of all, the home section is where most of your basic tools are. Game settings, you can also test in the home section without having to go to the tech test section. There's your terrain editor. This is how you make a part. You add a part like that. But I'm just showing you how to work the interface. UI, you don't need to know about that till later. This is pretty much what's here. These are the main four tools of Roblox Studio to help you build things. There's uh, constraints and stuff. Also, when you're building in Roblox Studio, I recommend having collisions off, but let's leave it on for now. Next, we're going to move on to the model section. Now, the model section is where you... um. You can also use the building tools in the model section. And in the model section is where you can uh, change your increments of how far you move things. So if I create a part here and I select the move tool, right now the move is at one stud. So each time it moves, it'll be at one stud. That's Studs are the unit of Roblox measurement. If we change this one stud to three studs, you can probably see that it moves a bit more which, with each move. But personally, I like to do 0 0.25, so it's accurate, but it smo moves smoothly. See, it goes a tiny bit, a tiny increment. Now, if you really wanted to, you could do 25 studs and have it go a whole bunch each one, but I don't recommend that. I recommend keeping it at one stud or lower. I like to do 0 0.25. And I like to keep my rotate at, um, I like to do my rotate at 10 degrees just to make it simple, um, just to make it very simple. Now, uh, 
These things called unioning and negating, we'll get on to those in a later video, but for now, we'll leave those. And uh, these are extra joints, we'll get to those in later videos. These are effects, so if you wanted to add an effect to a part such as sparkles or uh, smoke, that's kind of how you do it. I'm just going to undo all these things with Control z and these things are just adding how you can add scripts to whatever you're selected and stuff. Let me delete this fold. Um, so moving on to the test area is the best interface for your testing. Now, you can do emulations for whatever device. You can change it to a phone. You can change it to everything. Now, you can also... The start button will start the, start the scripts and servers. And then there's two, there's multiple ways to test a game. The play button will play as when you're joining into the actual game in the Roblox website. The play button will act as if you're really joining the game in the Roblox website. You will spawn where there's spawns and yeah. But the play here button is as it sounds. Wherever you are in Roblox Studio, you hit play here then you will play exactly where you where your Roblox Studio camera was left. That's a pretty cool feature and I really like it. And the view button basically enables things that if you need them to be enabled, you can enable them. Um I use this it's a very important thing. You, this is where you can screenshot or record a video through Roblox or go full screen. You can also use grid materials and things, but that's uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, next one is plugins. Now, we'll get into these later, but you can actually install player-made plugins that help you build and script games, which are really cool. These are my personal ones, but I'll get into them in a later video. Um... But this is pretty much the user interface. Now, I'm just going to go over these three basic things. The toolbox, the explorer, and the properties. Because I think these are some of the three most important aspects of, um, of Roblox Studio. Now, some of you that put, have done a lot of building in Roblox Studio, you're like, why am I using the toolbox? Well... If you have your own models that I use quite a bit, my own models that I've made in older games and other things, I like to use these a lot over and over again in my games, so I have my models. Now, if you are very beginning at Roblox Studio, which if you probably are if you're watching this video, uh, then you can experiment around with the toolbox and just experiment with it just to learn how Roblox Studio works, how to move things around, how you can learn the X and Y axis if you haven't learned that much in school. You can, um, you can learn the rotating tool, which is pretty cool, but I'll get onto these tools in another video. Hold on. Why is this doing this? I gotta figure something out. It's rotating like that. That's pretty odd. That's pretty odd, but anyways, um, that is how you do that. Anyway, but first, uh, okay, we're going to talk about the Explorer. Now, the Explorer is one of the most important things, the Explorer and the properties. So let me just uh, zoom down the prop, take the properties and bring it down for a second. Okay, I can't. So, the prop. The Explorer tab is where you see everything that is in your game. Everything. The base plate, which is this big plate, this big starter thing right here. The part, which is this part right here that we inserted. Everything. It shows you everything. It shows you players that are in the game if you're testing. And it shows you the lighting thing. You can change the lighting, but I'll get onto that in another video. Replicated first, replicated storage. Server script storage, we'll get, we'll go over these on a bunch of videos. 
um, server storage, starter GUI where your UI goes, starter pack, starter player, sound service, which is like um, sounds, chat of course, localization service, and there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Most of these I don't actually even go to. Can't even see this. Test service. Yeah, there's test service. All these things are very important, but in my opinion, the four most important things in here are workspace, lighting, server script storage, and starter GUI. In my opinion, are the four most important things, but they're all important. Now, the properties. The properties are of whatever you click. The properties are properties of a part or whatever you've clicked or script or something and also in lighting you change the properties of lighting so if you have nothing selected there's no properties if you click on a part in the in the uh in the roblox studio or in the workspace or i mean in the explorer uh you will see this in the properties will come up and in the properties is where you can change every single aspect in physics about that part so you change the color you can even be more exact with the color. You can change the material here. You can change it to marble. You can change the transparency to make it completely clear. You can change the reflectance to make it really shiny. You can do so much in the properties tab. You can change the, the mass, the name. You can change the name of the part. We'll name it uh, Broman Viper 2.0. Bang, it's now named in the workspace Broman Viper Part 2.0. So you can find it easier. You can change the orientation of it if it goes one, bang, you can change that. You can you can change um the position of it, which is basically where it is. See, so watch the position change as I move the part around. It changes the XYZ. The velocity, which is a bunch of random, it's uh, very confusing stuff. And I'll get on to these things more in other videos, but the properties section is very important. So in all of my tutorials, I recommend having these three sections open. But in certain video tutorials, I will have you open other sections. But this is kind of just a user interface Roblox Studio tutorial for beginners. And in my next video, I'll actually start... Um, building basics in Roblox Studio. But that's pretty much my uh, video for, to for today, just the basics of Roblox Studio, the user interface. If you guys did enjoy this video so far, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow the channel and it, it really helps me out if you like the video and subscribe. And anyways, guys, thank you for watching the whole way through if you're getting to this part. and. I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video, alright? See you guys later. Bye.